enhancement program was started in Strathmore University in 2003. The main objective of this program is to boost the teachers' morale as they perform the noble duty of molding young people in the schools and community. When free primary education was introduced in Kenya in 2003, the head teachers and class teachers became overwhelmed by the large numbers of young learners who flocked the schools thirsty for knowledge and attention. It became difficult to manage the learners and essential learning facilities became scarce. This, combined with pressure from parents and society for teachers to produce excellent academic results, greatly demoralized the teachers. This whole situation produced a major negative impact on the schools. The teachers lost motivation, the school infrastructure deteriorated, indiscipline cases were on the rise, and the gap between the schools and the parents widened, giving the teachers a poor image in the society. The public schools were the ones that were hit hard by this sad state of affairs. Teachers are very instrumental in shaping the attitudes of schools and community because they understand the issues. This is the thought that inspired the launching of the Teachers Enhancement Program in Strathmore University. Ms. Margaret Troach, Dean of the Institute of Humanities, Education and Development Studies, deeply concerned by the problem faced by the teachers in schools, drew up a, a curriculum strictly tailored to help school heads and class teachers to manage their institutions better. In fact, after joining the course, I have really changed. My life has been changed. My attitude has been changed towards teaching. I'm now a new teacher. And I've also come to know that education is not only reading and writing the class, it concerns everything. The attitude towards learning, both from the teachers and by the people. The motives have really changed me. Whatever I learned here, I've changed. I've changed as a person and also the way I do my work. And then also, the experience that I've learned here, the skills on how to manage the parents. I went back to the parents, I talked to them, and I've changed the attitude towards education as a whole. The first part of this program was branded Art of Leadership, a one-week course for principals and heads of primary and secondary schools. It is based mainly on helping the heads to manage their schools better in terms of ethics, finances, values, and coordinating of the role of parents. Some of the units that interested me and uh, I thought I should uh, take them are financial management, management of resources and finances, management of pupils in upper and lower primary. This course paved way for another course teacher's self-image for primary school class teachers. This is a three-day course that helps teachers to become better managers of their classroom and work closely with parents. The two courses greatly motivated the teachers and positive changes started taking place in schools. It is important to note that the students are the major beneficiaries of these changes. In my community, people do not believe in women taking leadership positions. It, this is a stereotype that I aim to, to change. And uh, upon joining uh, Strathmore University, I've also met women in key leadership positions. And I didn't see why I wouldn't also just take a leadership position back in my own district. Rays of hope started penetrating many schools throughout the country. 
With the aim of getting more follow-up on the teachers in their schools, the Center of Education in Strathmore University launched the Postgraduate Diploma in Education Management for graduate teachers and Post-Experience Diploma in Education Management for primary school heads and class teachers. Coming to Strathmore managed me to move the school from where it was to where it is. When I joined the school, the girls didn't have a latrine. The boys were going into the bush and it was terrible. I managed to lobby for various uh, groups to assist put up the toilets and the latrines and they look good. It was making the girls drop out from school but now at least I'm able to retain the girls because of the good toilets and the latrines. Apart from normal classroom lectures in management units, the teachers are helped to carry out an action research project of their choice in their schools. In this way, they improve on different areas of their classrooms and schools. This is done under supervision of the Center of Education staff throughout the year. Many positive changes have taken place. There are cleaner schools, students who had initially dropped out of schools returning, attractive school environments, and parents taking interest in their children's education by giving support to teachers. In all these programs, Strathmore University has trained close to 4,000 teachers. The Center of Education is now in the process of launching a master's program in education management for teachers. Thanks to Ms. Margaret Roach, the dean of the institute, who came up with the idea of the teacher's program. To Mr. Patrick Kibui, the director, who links the program to the Ministry of Education and to all staff of Center of Education for their hard work in running this program. I felt like I was getting started again. I felt like I had never gone to college. And in fact, I'm now more inspired to even go for higher learning after, after I graduate. As teachers, we are supposed to know that child. Don't just take for granted. We are expected to know about the child, the background, how they live, who they live with, what they undergo, so that the learning can be meaningful. And I know through the changes I'm making in my classroom, the whole school can also change. And when the school also change, I know that our community will also change. I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, Strathmore for giving us this opportunity. And I want to urge the teachers, especially the women teachers, to take up this course so that we can fill in the gap, especially in the marginalized district, pastoral district. Take up these courses so that when you are appointed, women want to be associated with the success. And I know we can bring a big change when we become good managers and aim higher and role model to our girls and to the entire community that women are not failures. Women are not weak. We are strong. We are entold with the qualities that make good leaders. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no.